My dear friends, I was just thinking last night about the various places in the world that Mary appeared. And I think no matter where it was, whether it was Lourdes or Knock or Fatima, I think she was trying to tell us the kingdom of God is very near to you. And I've been feeling that yesterday and today as people are flocking here to the cathedral to visit and venerate the relics of St. Bernadette, I get a sense that God is very near to us. God is close to us. That's what Mary wanted to say in Lourdes when she appeared. And that's why, did you notice, she always seemed to appear to people who were poor and humble. People like young and innocent Bernadette who couldn't read or write. Or the little shepherd children in Fatima, Lucia, Francisco and Jacinta. Or the simple everyday parishioners of Knock in County Mayo. Mary didn't choose the great thinkers or theologians, the powerful politicians, or rich and influential business people. Instead, her chosen ones were humble people like Bernadette, people who had strong and trusting faith, little people of the world, who know the struggles of living with nothing except their trust in God and God's providence. People like Bernadette, who in her sickness and poverty knew what suffering was like. And of course the message that Mary was bringing to Lourdes, to Bernadette, was a call to change and conversion. She called us to repent and do penance if we have sinned. And also she invited Bernadette to wash and drink from a spring a spring of mercy and to come in procession. She asked Bernadette to tell the priests to build a chapel there. And clearly she wanted people to have mass in the earth. And to realize that we will never really find our happiness in this world, but in the next. Of course, when you think of all those messages, they're actually the messages of Christ. They're the messages, the very same messages that Jesus preached. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is very near to you. And the Gospels tell us how Jesus came to bring healing. Healing into the brokenness that was everywhere around him. And his healing message was a message of hope and salvation. A message of conversion, repentance, turn away from sin. Believe in the good news that God is close to you. That God knows your struggles, your pains, your weakness, your sinfulness. But God wants to set you free. And we see this so much in Luke's gospel. This feast we celebrate today. It's a gospel all about healing. Physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional and mental healing. And Mary's apparitions at Lourdes and elsewhere remind us that that healing presence continues in today's world. And we, of course, know that we can find that healing every time we come to Mass in the Eucharist. And I think that Mary, wherever she appeared, was wanting to keep people's focus on Jesus. It's interesting that when she appeared at Knock, beside her was an altar and a lamb reminding us that Jesus is the Lamb of God. When she appeared at Lourdes, she says, tell the priest to build a chapel for Mass. And just before she appeared to Fatima, she sent the angel of peace to the little children. And the angel encouraged those children to offer the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus, present in all the tabernacles of the world, for the conversion of sinners. We know, of course, that in Lourdes there have been thousands of healings testified to by doctors. People being sure that there's no other explanation for those cures except it came from God and from heaven. And we also know that many people who go to Lourdes come back feeling healed 
maybe not physically, but strengthened to be able to carry whatever their crosses are. And they're given new hope and a new sense of joy in their lives. My dear friends, we are present here today, present with Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, His healing presence. Bernadette's relics are here with us. Mary, our Blessed Mother, is with us, ready to intercede for us and to help us to find healing. So don't be afraid at this Mass to ask for healing for yourself or for someone else if you wish. And specify it precisely what it is you're seeing. The Gospel, Jesus said, what do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you? And he's asking that of us today. What do you want me to do for you? So tell him what you want. Whenever Jesus went into towns or villages, people flocked to him to be healed. Many people went out of their way to touch Jesus. They wanted to be near him. And even when his disciples turned them away, these people persisted. They wanted to see Jesus. And sometimes they called out to him, Heal me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. They pleaded with Jesus. Remember the story of the Canaanite woman and the widow in the parable who kept asking. It was even when she didn't think she was getting through, she kept persisting, telling the Lord of her desire to be healed. And similarly here, you can ask for healing for yourself. Maybe for someone in your family or some relationship or problem or some issue in your school or in your neighborhood or community. Ask for it. Whether it be healing, a physical healing of the body or it might be some healing of the mind for someone or a healing of the spirit for someone. Say precisely to Jesus through Mary and St. Bernadette, say precisely to Jesus what it is you'd like healing. Maybe it's a medical thing, some pain, something that's hurting you or another. Maybe you know or yourself are struggling with cancer or with a heart problem, with a virus, or with some blockage or chronic illness that you're struggling with. Maybe it's a muscular or a digestive issue. Or if it's a worry or an anxiety or a fear. Tell Jesus precisely what it is. And tell St. Luke, he's a doctor. Explain what it is. Maybe it's something you or someone struggling with an addiction. Like alcohol or gambling or drugs. Or some compulsive behavior on the internet or some negative relationship at work or home or in your neighborhood. Maybe someone's struggling to cope with problems or worries or a decision. Maybe somebody was healing from the pain of bereavement. If you've lost a loved one and you really miss them and you're finding that so painful. Maybe you're struggling with depression or fear or thoughts of self-harm. Maybe you're struggling because you feel nobody likes you. Or you feel left out. Or maybe you're struggling with abuse of some kind. Physical, emotional, sexual, neglect. Or some coercive control in your life. Pray for healing. Jesus wants us to pray for healing. And the visit of these relics is a wonderful opportunity to do just that. Do you remember the man in the gospel who had leprosy? And he said, Lord, if you want to, you can heal me. And Jesus said, of course I want to be healed. And the centurion, he said, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof. But just say the word and my servant can be healed. And Jesus says, I haven't found faith like this anyway. And they brought him a paralyzed man. <laughs> they lowered him through the roof so that he could get to Jesus. And Jesus said, your sins are forgiven. And then he said, take up 
your bed and walk. Remember the woman who had the hemorrhage? And she said, if only I can touch his garments, I will be healed. And Jesus says, my daughter, your faith has made you whole. Go in peace. And the two blind men who came to Jesus and said, Son of David, have pity on us. And Jesus says, do you believe that I can do this? And they said, yes, Lord, we believe. And then Jesus touched their eyes. And he said, your faith has made you well. And blind Bartimaeus, when he said, Son of David, have pity on me. And Jesus says, what do you want me to do for you? And he said, Lord, I'd like to see you again. And Jesus said, receive your sight. Your faith has saved you. My dear friends, how many more examples do we need to show us that the Lord wants to heal us? So for a moment, I'm just going to invite you, if you'd like to, just to close your eyes for a moment. And just think if there's anything in your life, for you or for someone else, for which you would like healing. Just ask St. Bernadette, ask Mary, our blessed mother, ask St. Luke, the doctor, to bring your message to Jesus. Heal me, Lord. And I want you to imagine Jesus is here. Know that he is here. He's present in his word. He's present in this worshiping community. He's present above all in the blessed sacrament here in the cathedral. And as you continue to close your eyes, imagine that Jesus is laying his hands on your head. And he's saying, I love you. I want to heal you. I want to give you what you ask, and I will give it to you. I will give it to you now or when the time is right. And if you're asking for something that maybe is not good for you, I'll make sure that you're okay. Lay your hands gently upon us. Let their touch render your peace. Let them bring your forgiveness and healing. Lay your hands gently lay them. Jesus, I believe in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I love you. Amen.